Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to TSN's coverage of the National Senior Hockey Championship brought to you by Bro Dude Energy. I'm your host, James Duffy. Joining me on the panel for tonight's quiz are TSN insider Darren Drager, analyst Jeff O'Neill, and the legend himself, Mr. Bob McKenzie. O-Dog's a TSN analyst now? Isn't O-Dog a TSN correspondent? Yeah, let's meet in the middle at TSN personality. And O-Dog, we'll start with you. If you could build a team around one player in this tournament final matchup between Ontario's Cary County Eagles and Quebec's Three Rivers Lakers, who would it be? Your options are A, number 74, Jones of Cary County, B, number 68, Riley of Cary County, C, number 10, Jacques-Jean of Trois-Rivières, or go off the grid. Odog. I think it's undeniable that Jean-Jacques Francois Jacques Jean of the Three Rivers Lakers is your franchise player. This guy requires virtually zero help to score goals. Sure, he's a one-man show, but when it comes to winning championships, they don't ask how, they ask how many. I mean, let's get real here. 14 goals in four games with 11 unassisted. Dregs goes with anyone else in this question. Consider this my application for TSN Insider. Spoken like a true personality. Dregs. It's a poor look for the panel, having an amateur sandwich between the pros, James. The Three Rivers Lakers have an elite goal scorer with NHL experience in Jean-Jacques Francois Jacques Jean. But if I'm building a team around one player, he's got to be effective in all three zones. And that's a player, number 74 Jones of the Cary County Eagles. As they say, four check, back check, paycheck. He's a remarkable plus 16 over four games with a balanced eight goals, eight helpers, Offense wins games, but defense wins championships. When Jones is on the ice, his opponents do not and have not scored. Wow. Class is in session, O-Dog. Is this a class in hockey cliches? Bob McKenzie, your turn. Uh, I agree with Darren. The, the work ethic's just not there for ex-NHLer J.J. Frankie J.J. of the Three Rivers Lakers. My franchise player, number 68, Riley, of the Cary County Eagles. This is a big player. He loves big games. And on a senior hockey level, I really believe Riley belongs in the same conversation as Blake Wheeler or Gabriel Landeskog. He's got sandpaper. He's a sandpaper player with consistent point production and all the while logging big minutes. If I'm building, he's my guy. No digs at Dregs or Odog? As a senior member of the panel, James, that's beneath me. All right, fair enough. Uh, I'm going off the grid for this one, gentlemen. Take Claude Lemieux and Claude Giroux. Wrap them in one big ball, and you've got the Cary County Eagles, number 69, Shore. He's got the point totals to match line mates Riley and Jones, but does far more in the shutdown role to help his team win games. You know, James, for the first time in panel history, I'm going to change my answer. Shore is a certified grit grinder. He's the Brad Marchand of this tournament, and the Eagles aren't the Eagles without him. Drakes, your thoughts? Dino Cicerelli comes to mind as a comparable player, but Shore is too much of a wild card to build a team around. You need discipline in your leaders. Bob. James, I've covered hockey for TSN throughout the careers of Darcy Tucker, Matt Barnaby, and Alex Burrows. And I believe Shore does more talking on the ice than all three combined. Though he's got the ability to take players and sometimes entire teams completely out of the game mentally, he's a liability, and I wouldn't trust him in a leadership role. I'm with O-Dog on this one, Bob. Don't care, James. Certified grit grinder, Darren. Yeah, go put it on a t-shirt, Jeff. Well, folks, you've heard from our panel of expert hockey minds. Please stay tuned for tournament final coverage of the National Senior Hockey Championship brought to you by Bro Dude Energy on TSN.